Hi, this is Judy from Shining 3D. Welcome to our salon. Recently, we received some consultations about which scanner can scan small objects as well as big objects. One customer is a long user of NScanSE. He is searching for a handheld scanner to scan objects like bumpers, covers, and fenders. Another customer plans to scan small elements which are not bigger than 80 millimeters, but also some table-sized parts. For this needs, we do have a solution that is pro-series multifunctional scanners. However, for those who don't have high accuracy requirements of the scanner and the data details, or you are on a budget, why not try the new combination of NScan SE and NSTAR? NScan SE, a desktop scanner, does well in scanning small objects with its automatic turn table. Also, you could use a tripod to meet more scanning needs. NSTAR, a handheld scanner, is good at scanning human beings as well as human-sized objects because of its non-rigid algorithm and the large scanning range. Scanning outdoors is also okay, a cost-effective device. As we mentioned before, for a better scanning experience and data quality, our recommendation is to scan small objects with NSCAN SE and scan large objects with NSTAR. Some of you may feel doubtful about it, since NSCAN SE can also scan big objects and NSTAR can also scan small objects. Next, we can do a test to support our opinion. First, let's scan a peanut, which is only 1.4 cm long. We use NSCAN SE with its turntable to scan. After scanning a circle, most of the data is actually acquired. To get more complete data, we can change the angle of the peanut. And the software will then do auto-align according to the future. Scanning such small objects with NSCAN SE is very simple. Then let's scan this peanut with NSTAR. We can choose hybrid alignment. Because we need peanut data from different angles, we can create several projects, then align them by features. At the scanning results, the detail scanned by NSCAN SE is sharper and clearer than that of NSTAR. Because the project of NSCAN SE emits phase shift while NSTAR emits a random speckle. This time, let's scan a sculpture. It's 59 cm high. This sculpture is relatively large, so we can place it on a tent table and place NSCAN SE on a tripod. Then scan this sculpture one frame by one frame with turning the turntable. table. It took 
us about 35 minutes to complete the scanning. Now let's try and start. Thanks to its big scanning range from 160 mm to 1400 mm, scanning large objects with it is very smooth. Look, this is the data. It took us about 3 minutes to get it. In regard to this kind of big object, the scanning speed of NSTAR is much faster than that of NSCAN SE. Moreover, we also have customers who have the need to scan people. For example, a previous user scanned many friends for 3D DIY. NSTAR can meet such scanning needs. OK, let's start scanning my colleague Sarah. Hello. The light source of NSTAR is infrared light, which is friendly to eyes. Besides, when scanning a person, it's suggested to turn on the hair mode, which helps to get more hair data. From the scanning results, as you could see, the advantages of the two devices are obvious. In the world, NSCAN SE and NSTAR are complementary. No matter what size the object you will scan, NSCAN SE and NSTAR are there for your needs. Thanks for watching today's video. We hope it's helpful to you. See you next time.